Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This DIY video is about a decorative throw pillowcase with a zipper and I made it without using a sewing machine. So if you would like to know how it's made, please stay tuned. So what you'll need for this project is a fabric palette, glue gun, and a couple of glue sticks, a zipper, a pen, and a, maybe a scissor. So this pillow stuffing is from an old pillow that was getting flat and flatter. So I decided to reuse it instead of throwing it out. So what I just did is just fluff it around a little bit and fold uh, one in to the inside so it can fit in the fabric. So, so once you've done that, the next step is to turn the fabric inside out and make marks along the three sides of the fabric with a pen. Yeah, and you do that by making the marks a few inches from the edge of the fabric like so. So next, using the marks that you already made as a guideline, just fold the fabric, the two sides of the fabric. You don't really have to fold the fabric because you've already made the lines if you want to, but it just makes it more precise when you're applying the, the glue. So all you do is just apply the glue in between. Make sure you don't apply too much so when you press it down, it doesn't ooze out. And make sure to leave just a little bit of space at the end, like so. And for the other side, you do exactly the same. So after you glue the two long sides, this is what it's going to look like. So I've already made the marks for the edges for this side as well. So all I'm doing is just folding both sides so I can glue it with the zipper. So before you apply the glue, make sure you open the zipper and turn it over. So it's gonna be the glue is gonna be in between the top side of the zipper and the fabric, the folded fabric. So while I'm doing this, I'm also making sure that I have space in between the zipper and the fabric. So later on, when you open the zipper, the fabric doesn't get stuck in the zipper. Okay, so remember I said earlier to leave a little bit of space at the end? The reason why I said that is so you can have a little bit of space to wiggle just in case you need to fix something or something goes wrong, you still have a chance to fix it. So after gluing the two sides of the zipper, this is what it's gonna look like. So the final step for this DIY is just basically secure the end, the little uh, spaces that you left from earlier on in the corners and anywhere you think it needs more, more of the glue to secure your project. And that's about it. So I hope you guys like this DIY and if you do, don't forget to let me know in the comment area. And for more videos, because I'm going to be making a whole lot of them, make sure you subscribe and basically keep up with me. <laughs> Thanks for watching.